Yo what's up guys, today I wanted to make a tier list video and essentially this is going to be a tier list of all the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Again all of this is an opinion and if you don't know already, I love Five Nights at Freddy's games and in fact I beat almost every single one. So what I plan to do is make a tier list, if you disagree with me just remember these are opinions. This is just what I think, I could be totally wrong. Let's just get into it. We're starting off with the original Five Nights at Freddy's. Honestly, this one is going to have to go. We're going to leave S tier. Now remember, this is the first game. So at the time, this was like super popular. It was really fun. Eventually, some games got better. But honestly, there's nothing wrong with this one. It's pretty basic, straight to the point game. And I think it deserves at least S tier. Now we have Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I'm gonna leave it B tier for one reason. Um, I didn't like the fact that there were no doors. Although, actually it's gonna go A tier. It had a lot of special features like the music box and that was um, brand new, that was awesome. I think this is at least A tier, but it's not as good as Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Okay, now we're coming up with Five Nights at Freddy's 3. This one was unique. It actually had a lot of bad reviews compared to the other ones. Hear me out, I'm gonna leave it C tier. Because when I played it, I felt like, I don't know, I just feel like when I played it, it actually, no, nah, it's going B. I had a lot of fun playing it, but I beat it really quickly. It was super easy. Kind of wish it was a bit harder and maybe a, even a bit scarier, but yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is going B tier. All right, Five Nights at Freddy's 4. This one was really good. Honestly, um, it's going to go S tier. I think it was better than Five Nights at Freddy's 2 and 3. It had a really good storyline. It entertained me. I had so much fun playing it. It's for sure being with Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Ultimate Custom Night. That's going SS here. This is like probably the best FNAF game I've ever played because there were so many possibilities, so many things you could make. I had so much fun playing it. In fact, I still play it to this day. Still trying to do 50-20 mode. Maybe one day I'll do it. Help Wanted's going... S tier. It's better than Five Nights at Freddy's 4 and Five Nights at Freddy's 1, but not as good as Ultimate Custom Night. But yeah, it's an awesome game. For sure one of my favorites. Pizzeria Simulator. This one is going SS tier. I also had so much fun with this one. It honestly was like one of the funnest Five Nights at Freddy's games I've ever played. I think it's better than Help Wanted. I don't think it's better than Ultimate Custom Night, but it was really fun. Sister Location. This one's a B tier. I feel like there was like a storyline to it, but that's pretty much all it was based on what I remember. So yeah, B tier. It's not quite as bad. Or it's not quite that bad. FNAF World is going C tier. No, D tier. Now hear me out. This game was awesome when I played it. I had a lot of fun. I just feel like it didn't blend with the franchise at all. I, I had fun, but... Because I had fun, I'll, I'll put it C tier, but it's not going anywhere higher. It's it's one of the worst FNAF games, and that's my opinion. Maybe you guys liked it, but I really did not like that game. I don't even know what this game is, to be honest. I don't think I've actually played this one, so we're just going to leave it A tier, because that's like the average. Then we got FNAF AR. This one is awesome. It's going S tier as well. Man, it was really fun. I still play it to this day, honestly. It's one of the more fun FNAF games, 100%. I think it's just as good as Help Wanted, to be honest. They're so fun. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, Help Wanted is much better than S tier. Um, I had so much fun playing it. I actually recently beat the game, and it was it was really fun. So yeah, this is my tier list. That's um, really all I gotta say. There's not much more I can say about it. If you disagree with me, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.